With the tournament in full swing, Lei investigates the secret lab under the island, aided and abetted by the monstrous Gunjack and his child cohort Jane, who are busy looking for a Dr. Boskonovich for reasons that escape us. I think it has to do with the girl dying. What they find is a bunch of Robojacks, a very downplayed Roger the Kangaroo, and a facility that produces the famed biological weapons everyone has been talking about. So what are these organic engines of death, you might ask? Hyper-destructive mutated turtles? Gigantic girl-hungry gorillas? Or perhaps genocidal monsters disguised as fluffy bunny rabbits? Well, Edgeworth wastes no time in introducing us to the indescribable nightmare that is... Raptors? Lee's Super Commando Holocaust bringers are... Raptors?! What is this, Jurassic Park?! Oh, no, 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 no! These raptors have the benefit of being invisible! Oh, truly they are an abomination! Surely even a nuclear warhead would be stopped by this! Well, so much for that. Meanwhile, it turns out Nina can no longer abide working with her sister, and they prepare to finish things once and for all. Oh, yes! Catfight! Except... Wait, what's that? <gasps> and a dummies? Blasphemy! How can they kill off a character that's been with a series for all of six games? This is Tekken! Ah! I'll kill them all! <laughs> Settled, we can move on. Kazuya, after the upteenth friendship speech, finally arrives at Heihachi's quarters, ready to face his father in mortal combat. But Edgeworth decides he wants a piece of the action, and proceeds to be humiliatingly beaten and cast aside by the now main villain Heihachi. After schooling his son for a while, June finally confronts the old tyrant and demands to know why he has been doing his evil acts. And the reason is... Um... Oh ho. I... Hmm... Really? In other words, he's just making it up! The original game had Heihachi's motivation as simply grooming his son to take over the company. Now they have the cheek to give us an existential justification for something the original Heihachi never even did! Oh, I give up! Let's just finish things! So in short, Kazuya wins, June's speeches finally have an effect on him, Heihachi falls in a pit of lava but survives and flees aboard a helicopter, Edgeworth blows himself up in the island, everyone manages to escape except for Jack, and we cut to some time later, where we see June now has a son, and they all live happily ever after. EXCEPT THE VIEWERS! Oh, how I despise this movie! But wait, there's still one last thing to talk about. The inevitable pros and cons of it. Is it ultimately worth anything? From what I've screamed so far, you can tell that I reproach the movie's poor plot, inconsistency with the games, the major liberties taken with the characters, and the lack of adequate development. My guess is they made the movie assuming everyone who watched it will have already played the game. But that is no excuse! Even then it would not make any sense! I would also like to point out the movie's very odd transitions, such as... Or also... How about... They make no sense and we get no setup to them. They just randomly pop out of nowhere. Next is the animation. For a movie made in 1998, its animation is really very bad. Especially when compared to, say, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Also, whenever someone is hit, we get a delightful series of flashes that look like they were designed to cause someone seizures. Hmm. Just like a certain Pokemon episode I could mention, but I digress. But, by far, the largest problem is, as I've said, its plot. I don't care if everything else had been perfect. A good plot is the deciding factor for a movie's quality, and hell knows this movie lacks it! But I'm not without some praise for the movie. The action is decent, and some characters are overall acceptable. Even though they do have less than appropriate voices. Also, I particularly enjoyed Jack's role. In my opinion, his character is well played and perfectly believable. Like I said, he's a bright spot on this character-based state. But fortunately, this is nowhere near enough to save the movie! It was awful! A real mess with no good plot, awful characters, and it wouldn't be a stretch to call it an insult to the game series! It's no great wonder why so many people hate its guts! Even non-fans can see that the movie was abominable! The most shocking part is that some people actually call it a guilty pleasure, and insist that it wasn't as bad as all that. Well, those who think that are the ones who are guilty. Guilty of idiocy! Well, there you have it. I am delighted to have been your torturer for this review, but rest assured, there will be much more to come, because I now own the 
see the anti-viewer, but don't worry guys, the anime overviewer is not going anywhere. I can guarantee you that. As for my break, should I take it? Probably not. I'd like to know what you guys think, but anyway, I'm really tired right now. I'm glad to be out of that mess. This is Aiko Arisaka420 of the anime overviewer, and as always, have a nice day. <laughs>